Hello everyone, this is Said again and this time on the third part of the tutorials on emulating Raspberry Pi on Linux. Uh, as I promised last time, uh, we are going to set up SSH or secure shell connection from the host to the emulated Raspberry Pi. So as usual, I uh, have uh, started the Raspberry Pi uh, using the runme script that we uh, created last time and I'm uh, greeted with the uh, login using the uh, serial so I'm going to log in and my password and uh, inside the Raspberry Pi we just need to do uh, one thing and that's uh, uh, enabling the SSH by uh, t uh, going to the config uh, sudo raspy config okay and uh, all you need to do is to go uh, in advanced options SSH and uh, make sure it's enabled so uh, you highlight the enable and you press enter and wait for the thing to uh, set up and another option would be hostname and we just leave the host name uh, as it was and that's all and uh, we are going to reboot it saying yes and hopefully this is going to be the last time that we are seeing this Kimo screen because if we enable the SSH we just uh, can um, uh, get rid of this window by uh, appending the uh, no graphics switch to the uh, camel um, binary as I will show you uh, right now and uh, let me show you the code that we have been using right now so uh, okay let me open a new text file to show you so we are currently using uh, this command to start our uh, Raspberry Pi uh, and uh, of course using the uh, serial uh, interface and the changes that you're gonna need to uh, be able to start it in SS uh, SSH is to uh, just make the following changes I have already done this to uh, save time and I simply going to uh, paste it here and tell you uh, the dif differences so uh, let me uh, comment it with SSH mm, and this one is going to be um, before SSH so you can see here before SSH uh, we had this command and with SSH we are uh, the first thing you need to do is to add the uh, the switch no graphic to your startup command so this will tell the camo do not show that uh, a small window that you can use the stereo interface on it but uh, this is optional if you want it or not you can it's up to you and the uh, next thing and the most important thing is to use the uh, dash redire, um, redirect um, switch and what it does is it tells that uh, the camo that should uh, uh, forward everything uh, you, uh, on the TCB on port 2222 to forward it to port 22 on uh, Raspberry Pi so all you need to do is to add uh, copy this and add it at the end of the um, your current uh, startup script and optionally I say again if you don't want to see the window of the uh, camo you can use the no graphics uh, no graphic switch so uh, let me try this uh, before that I'm going to uh, I go to nano and uh, edit my current uh, startup script as you can see I've already at the no graphics switch and at the end somewhere at the end 
I have uh, used the dash redire TCP uh, colon colon two 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 colon colon another colon colon two two and then the uh, name of the um, image so um, everything is set I'm going to uh, start the Raspberry Pi again uh, like this and as you can see because I use the dash no graphic switch I don't see the window anymore so it will take a while for the Raspberry Pi to boot up so I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back as soon as it uh, started so uh, our Raspberry Pi is booted up and you can confirm it by seeing this Raspberry Pi uh, login prompt on the Camu uh, running process but it will do, uh, do nothing if you type P here uh, it says unknow comment because we don't have the graphical window anymore but it's no problem I can just open a new tab and this time I gonna say this command SSH dash P 2222 then uh, I gonna use the switch dash X so uh, dash X will be X forwarding so and en enables us to use the graphic programs on the Raspberry Pi and the most important thing here is that the address and the username will be the username that you have on the Pi and the address is going to be localhost anything else will not work so yep as you can see we have been greeted with the uh, password request and we are in like Flynn <laughs> okay uh, now we have SSH access and this is quite useful it's par much more useful than the uh, normal serial for example I can uh, uh, do uh, graphical things on the Raspberry Pi execute the graphical programs like uh, I don't know the games that already uh, come with the Raspberry Pi pre-installed let's try one of them uh, launcher and as you can see the s-x switch the x forwarding enables us to uh, use the graphical uh, programs on the Raspberry Pi so let's try how it works but it's gonna be quite uh, slow because uh, the uh, camu uh, emulator is a bit uh, slow in this case but let's just try one of these games let's see if it runs okay we have it yep I have no idea how this game works but this was just a point to uh, show you that the uh, X4 warding also works fine okay let's quit from this and we are back in the uh, prompt of the Raspberry Pi another good feature of the SSH is that it will enables us to use SCP or secure copy to transfer files between the uh, host device and the uh, Raspberry Pi for example uh, as you can see I'm uh, in this uh, terminal tab I'm uh, still logged in in uh, Raspberry Pi but in this one I'm in, in my own laptop so just for sake of example I'm going to copy something there let's go to my download folder um, I don't know let's copy one file some spy file okay uh, let's try uh, this file okay I'm going to say scp then the name of the file then uh, one space then I say pi at localhost then uh, colon colon then the address that I want to uh, the directory that I want the file to be copied into so in this case it will be a, the home directory for me on the Raspberry Pi uh, okay I don't know what's what has gone wrong but let's try this hmm. wow 
well something is wrong let's try find it out mm -hmm. cp oh maybe we have to uh bear with me i'm sure that i have done this before but it's good because we learned something so let's see what can be wrong okay let me delete this there should be an option in scp that uh, redirects like just what we did with ssh redirect the uh, port okay you know here uh, the uh, the switch is dash p okay going to repeat repeat the same thing but this time it I think it asked for the capital P yes that was the trick and yes so remember if you use the SCP you have to use the switch dash capital P then the port 2222 now just I will just enter my Raspberry Pi password and apparently it was wrong oh sorry on the raspberry pi my uh, user directory is named pi okay now my password yes now if we go back to the raspberry pi and we do a list you see that our file has been copied so uh, I will tell you again for copying files you use SS SCP dash capital P then following by 2222 two, 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 then uh, the file that you want to copy I don't know anything uh, what was the file name this file for example then P at localhost then the folder that you want the file to be in for example again in the home directory password again and you see it says the permission right because I think uh, we have already the file there so for example we uh, rename it just something arbitrary okay now this is a file with another name so uh, that's all for now and uh, in the next uh, tutorial uh, we're going to deal with some cross compiling and that will be uh, compiling uh, programs on the local host and then run them on the raspberry pi but that will not be limited to the emulated raspberry pi you can do it actually use a much powerful PC for example your laptop for sure is uh, more powerful than the Raspberry Pi you compile the program on your laptop but then you copy the files on the Raspberry Pi and you execute them there it's gonna be uh, quite a nice challenge so I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you soon